there. This is Veena from Pataki, the channel that's about baking and much much more. Here's where you'll find quick and tasty recipes for new cooks and those with less time to spend in the kitchen. Okay then, let's get cracking with today's recipe. Welcome back. I have yet another gluten-free recipe for you today. Let me show you how to make soft and flavorful traditional goan pore. You could think of them as goan rice and coconut dosas or crepes. So now let's start making them right here at Pata Cake. To make pore, we'll need rice, regular or goan unpolished rice, grated coconut, cooked rice, salt and sugar. That's it. Let's start with the rice. This is 3 quarters of a cup of rice that I had soaked last night. You need to soak it either overnight or for at least 2 hours. I soaked it last night because I had to shoot the video this morning. I used regular white rice. But if you have the Goa unpolished rice, go ahead and use that instead. Let's drain the rice. Rinse it with fresh water. And drain it again. In addition to the rice, we'll need a quarter cup of grated coconut and 3 tablespoons of cooked rice. Let's grind all of these to a smooth batter in a mixer grinder with 3 quarters of a cup of water. So to this grinder jar, I'll add the soaked rice, the coconut and the cooked rice. Let's first add half a cup of water. But wait, I'm wondering if this jar is going to be too small. Okay, here's what I've done. Since I was using much smaller quantities of rice and coconut today than I do usually, I had thought my smaller mixer jar would do for today's video. But not wanting to take the risk of overloading it, I transferred everything to my larger jar. I had already added half a cup of water now I'll add the remaining quarter cup. That makes it 3 quarters of a cup of water in all. I'll grind this really fine to get a smooth batter and be back. Let's transfer the batter to this vessel and rinse the mixer jar with around 2 tablespoons of water and add this too to the batter. Let's mix in 3 quarters of a teaspoon of salt and 1 and a half tablespoons of sugar. Now let's cover the vessel and let the batter rest for around 1 hour. If you have the time, you could even make that 2 hours. After resting the batter for an hour, I'll now thin it a little. The pore batter needs to be medium thin not too watery because pore are not as thin as neer dosas. This is a little more than a quarter cup of water. But first, let's just add a quarter cup. That seems just right. So I won't add any more water. I've started heating my non-stick pan with the heat on medium-high. It's now hot enough so I'll drizzle a few drops of oil on it and spread the oil around with a paper towel. I'll pour a little less than half a cup of the batter into the pan and tilt the pan slightly to spread the batter to a diameter of around 8 inches. Once bubbles start appearing all over the batter, 
we we'll let it cook for around 30 seconds. After that, we'll cover the pan, reduce the heat to low, and let the crepe cook for around one and a half minutes. Let's check it. It looks good. Let's see if the edges are still sticking to the pan. They are not, which means we can take the crepe off the pan. But since pore are only cooked on one side, we we'll let the crepe cook for just another 30 seconds or so to let it cook thoroughly. At the same time, the bottom shouldn't get burnt. If it only gets browned a little, that would be fine. Now let's transfer the crepe to a plate. I'll fold it over after a minute or two after letting the upper surface cool down a little. Always wipe off the water condensed on the underside of the lid after making each of the pore. I'll increase the heat to medium high, drizzle a little oil on the pan and like before spread it around with a paper towel. Now let's make the second crepe following the same procedure as before. We'll let the top surface of this one too cool down a little before folding it over. With the batter we prepared, I was able to make 6 pore. Now pore can be eaten just as they are or with a chutney of your choice or vegetables or non-veg curries. You could also fold each of them twice like this to form quarter circles. And guess what? If you make these a little thinner and use a sweet filling of jaggery and grated coconut, you could also make gluten-free albels with these. Let me tear off a piece to show you how soft the pore are. They are not just incredibly tasty, they would make a good change from the daily bread, rotis or chapatis that we have. I really hope you'll try making pore. Believe me, they are not that difficult to make. Hope you enjoyed today's video and do stop by again for yet another quick and tasty recipe. Till then, take care, happy cooking!